Hi, Melanie Chris with Telehealth Share here. I want to talk to you a little bit about Google Slides, specifically interactive Google Slides. So you might have heard people talking about using Google Slides during their telehealth sessions, or maybe you've seen people chatting about it in, an, in a social media group, uh, or maybe you've seen an advertisement for the sale of uh, some Google Slides for use during your telehealth sessions. We have several of them available at telehealthshare.com, for example. Now, uh, to use Google Slides with students, there are a couple important things that you need to consider and remember. You need to be able to figure out how you are going to share the particular Google slide with your student. You don't wanna share the main or master copy of your Google slide, because if you do, then every time that you share that main copy with them, that uh, master copy will be changed and you'll need to reset it or move everything back so that it's ready for another student. So there is something that you can do in order to be able to use this with multiple or use a Google slide with multiple students without changing that master copy. And I'm gonna show you that here shortly. There may, however, be some situations where you want to have the slides open uh, and you want the, the student to be in the slide and using it in real time at the same time that you are using it. And you're okay with the idea of it um, being moved and resetting it later. So I am going to show you how to do that because there are some, some situations where you may want to do that. In most cases, however, you'll probably want to make a copy. So let me show you here real quickly what to do. If you want to open Google Slides uh, and use it in real time with a student, what you're going to do is you're going to open the presentation like this one here, and then you're going to want to click the share button. Once you click the share button, then you want to go down here to the, the area where it says get link. And there'll be something where it says change, something that you where it's hyperlinked right here. So you want to click that. And then you want to change this. Right now it says the name of Community Therapy Services, which is one of my uh, companies that uh, where we provide occupational therapy telehealth services. And so I don't want just... Um, those with community therapy services extensions in their email to get access to this. So we're going to change this to anyone with the link can view. Now, then what you want to do from there is you want to make sure to click on viewer and change it to editor. Okay. Now, then what you want to do is click copy link and then hit done. All right, so once you've done that, when you are in Zoom or whatever video conferencing platform you, you are using with a student, typically there will be a chat pod of some kind available. Then you'll want to paste that link into the chat pod and ask the student to click on it uh, to go to that Google slide. Uh, when they do that, you'll see up here towards the top right somewhere, you will see a little circle with their initials or whatever um, their sign-on information will be up there. So you can have as many students as you want all inside of the Google slide, changing things together in real time. So you, you might find that that is what you want to do. You, you both want to be inside. You want to move something and then you want the, uh, the child to move something. Maybe in this case, you're going to start and you'll, you'll say, I'm going to move the red. Now I want you to, do, to pick a color and you move one and then they, and they can go in and find the blue and move it. So this certainly uh, serves a great purpose um, when you want to have more interactive back and forth uh, activity. Now, if it's just something that you want to do and have the student do most of, most of the work where they are not changing the master copy, this is what you want to do then. So what you want to do is open the file, okay? And all you need to do here is just click share. And then you want to click copy link. And then go to another browser of some kind just to, you can test it out. So here, you know, I'll paste my link here. Now what I want you to notice 
is right now um, you see after the forward slash here, there's the word edit. So what you wanna do is find that word edit, find everything after that forward slash towards the end, the last section. And you wanna get rid of all of that and you wanna type the word copy, okay? And then what you'll do simply is copy this and then paste that in the chat pod with your students. And then you'll have them open essentially a copy of that. When they open a copy of it, it will not change the master. So if we um, click that and you ask the student to click the hyperlink that you just pasted into the chat pod, this will prompt, uh, this will come up to prompt them to click make a copy. So once they click make a copy, might take a moment and a um, now a copy will pull up and you can make a change. So let's just go ahead and go to that same slide and we'll move the red, the blue, the yellow down here. Okay, so remember I'm in another browser right now because I wanted to test this out and I'm gonna go back to Chrome to back to the original. So here I am at the original one and you can see that nothing's been moved over. So that is another option so that you can send that link to any of your students and send them a copy that won't change that master copy at any point. So I hope you find this helpful. Google Slides using, uh, creating Google Slides that have interactive features can be so helpful in your sessions with students. And uh, I hope that you will uh, explore these, uh, explore Google Slides and use some of these tips. Maybe try out both ways using uh, where you're modifying the master uh, slide and you're both in there together taking turns or uh, where you are sending them a copy where they're doing most of the uh, work while you are observing and guiding them. So uh, good luck using some of those tips and I uh, hope that you will sign on to telehealthshare.com and check out some of our other resources.